This is the new Sony Alpha A77 SLT camera. It's Sony's new top of the line SLT model. Now an SLT, it's a little bit different to an SLR. It's single lens translucent system camera. Now what that means is the mirror is fixed in place inside the camera. On a digital SLR, the mirror will flip up to expose the sensor, but not so on an SLT. Now what Sony claims is that allows it to be a much, much faster camera than even some digital SLRs can do. Now true to that point, the A77 can perform 12 frames per second. And that becomes even more remarkable when you think that those, uh, those shots are 24.3 megapixels. It's got a huge resolution. So you can take really detailed photos, but also really fast detailed photos. So let's say you're doing a sports scene or you're capturing wildlife. This is a terrific camera to consider. Now because speed is everything with this camera, it's very fast to focus as well. It's got 19 AF points. And also, if you're focusing in its video mode, and it can take full HD videos, it's very, very quick to focus. Again, because of that SLT technology, it kind of gives this camera an edge a bit on uh, dig digital SLRs, which can struggle a little bit on the autofocus when they're taking video. Now, there's no question, this is an enthusiast's camera. It doesn't come cheap. So you're probably going to launch this at a price of around £1,100 just for the camera body. But you're getting a, a camera body which is magnesium alloy, it's got extra dials on it for direct access to the aperture or the shutter speed. There's a top panel LCD screen where you can see all of your settings. There's a rear LCD screen which can be flipped out and rotated. So if you're holding it at an awkward angle, you can adjust the screen. And the viewfinder is electronic, but it's not just any normal electronic viewfinder, it's an OLED. Now OLED, which is organic light emitting diode, allows for much, much sharper, much brighter display technology than you'll get with traditional LCD. Now I've got to say, from a hands-on using this viewfinder, I am truly impressed. It's very, very bright, very sharp, and you're getting a terrific field of view as well. So you'll get a little bit of cropping with most digital SLRs, certainly at consumer levels, so you miss the edges of the frame. Not going to happen with an electronic viewfinder. And I'm pretty impressed by what I'm seeing here. You can also use that viewfinder while you're shooting video. And you can attach an external microphone as well, or a clip-on mic or something like that. There's a little mic slot on the side. A couple of other neat features built into the A77. It's got built-in GPS, so the camera can automatically geotag any of your photos, and you can see on a map of the world exactly where you've been taking your shots. It's also got Sony's Steady Shot Inside, which is their image stabilization, which comes built into the body of the camera itself. So you don't actually require an image stabilizing lens to get the benefit of it. Now you can see there's a dedicated movie record button on the rear of the camera, so you can start recording a video straight away in one push. And Sony also tell us that they've solved one of the problems which afflicted the earlier SLT cameras in their video modes. And that is you could only record for about 12 minutes in one go if you had the image stabilization switched on. Not a problem with the A77, which can record for up to 29 minutes in one go. Now what's really interesting with the A77 is it shows how much faith Sony have got in their new SLT technology, because this is now their top of the line consumer camera. So any higher than this, and you've got to go for their full frame model. So it really shows that Sony has got a great deal of faith in the SLT technology, which they're pushing very hard. There's a price point to go with it, of course. So £1,100 just for the camera body, that puts it roughly on a par with something like the Canon 7D or the Nikon D300S. Although this can actually do a superior frame rate to either of those cameras. So it's certainly something to consider if you're after speed. For much more on digital cameras and digital SLTs, check on at witch.co.uk.